Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. This video here, I'll be doing a, a teardown or disassemble on an HP laptop. The model here is an H HP Spectre X360, or you can say the model is 15-CH011DX. As you can see on the side, the back plate is being separated. Um, what happened to this laptop is the battery is swollen, so it's kind of pushing the back plate as well as the keyboard and the touchpad from the front. It's quite hard for you to see it, but you can feel that the battery is being pushed. Okay, so what I'll do, be doing is I'll be taking everything apart and do a tear down and show you the step by step on how to. Um, do some replacement like the battery or the motherboard or the heat sink or the hard drive so hopefully this video can show you some of those steps and let's get started as you can see what I'm doing right now is I'm removing this uh, rubber the rubber stopper here because there are screws that is hidden underneath same goes to the bottom part oh, it looks like the bottom doesn't have it so let's put it back together So this one here is just a regular Phillips screw. At the bottom here, there are two torque screwdriver, uh, torque T5. Alright, so once you have the screw removed, you can just easily um, separate the back plate. And as you can see, the battery is really bad. It's everything is, is swollen and it's being pushed back, so it is very dangerous. And I recommend to quickly do a replacement on this. Because on a bad battery, it may catch fire or explode so it can be very dangerous while you're using it Alright, so make sure you have a properly disposed the battery. Uh, you can go to your local battery shop and see if they have any replacement for that or proper way to dispose the battery. Alright, at this point here you get to see the entire motherboard. Um, so this is the CPU heatsink and the graphics card and this is the CPU fan. So this is a good time for you to clean out the fan if you feel like it is dusty or if you want to replace it and and this is where you're going to replace the uh, the CPU uh, fan so the next thing I wanted to show you is this is just a cover 
Okay, and the cover is covering up the two RAM sticks and their DDR4 RAM. Alright, so uh, first what I'm going to do is I'm just going to disconnect all the cables. And all this cable is, is held by uh, a little clipper here. So if you flip open the clipper, you can actually remove them. Okay. So I have this one open. So let's pull that out. This one here. This is for the keyboard lighting. This is your keyboard cable. This is your touchpad cable. This is for your SD card reader that goes here. All right. So this little white cable here is for your speaker. So your speakers go on this side. And this is your CPU fan. Okay, so some of the cable, what they're doing is they kind of like hide underneath, not hide, hide it, but they kind of go around that CPU fan. You may have to slowly open it up in order to remove certain stuff. So like for my case, the speaker cable is tied to this fan and same for this one uh, for your audio jack is tied to that as well. So. Once you have that removed, there's one screw here for the fan and the other one is on that side. And that's how you're going to remove the CPU, um, yeah, the heatsink fan, the CPU fan. Um, yeah, this is a good time where you can go ahead and get the A-can duster to dust it out to make the fan uh, more clean all right so let's put this on the side this is your heat sink you can come here and clean it out if you feel like your laptop is really dirty okay so the next thing I'll be doing is go ahead and remove some of the screw that is holding the motherboard and this one here is for your CPU fan again. So the two screws that is holding the fan. So go ahead and remove that. Go ahead and unplug, disconnect the cable. And this is here, is which is for your speaker. Go ahead and disconnect that. And there goes your fan. All right. So when it comes to this top part, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little marker on this cable and here, so that I can, so that I know that this cable that goes to the Wi-Fi matches the blue when I put them back together later. All right, and let's go ahead and see what this here. This is actually your um, C drive, which is the bootable drive, and the M.2 SSD drive.
this one here is your Wi-Fi card so once you remove the screw you can take it out It looks like I might have to slide it in, but before I do that, I wonder if I can just remove the screen entirely and get myself some room. And get myself some room to separate the motherboard. So let's try that first. See if this two screw that is holding on the hinge can actually uh, separate the LCD so let's give it a try Alright, so the way to disconnect this LCD cable uh, or the way to disconnect the LCD is you need to flip the LCD over 180 degree angle. So as you can see, I'm flipping my LCD almost going back to the 360 like on the other side of it in order for me to separate that hinge. You see that? So you actually need to flip it all the way to the other side of it to separate the uh, the LCD. But before I do that, I actually need to uh, disconnect the cable here. So they make it quite difficult because of this little plastic cover that is blocking it. Yeah, so you have to flip it, the hinge all the way to the other side of it, almost, you know, the 360 fold, and then that's how you go underneath and disconnect the two cable and the Wi-Fi, and that's how you dis disconnect the entire LCD. Okay.
So right here I'm still working on separating the motherboard but this is the uh, what is this? This is actually the power cable if I'm not mistaken. So let's see. Alright so that's how you um, remove the motherboard or disassemble the entirely motherboard and for those of you who wants to apply new thermal paste onto the CPU and the graphics card you just got to remove all the screws and remove the heat sink that's how you apply the new thermal paste all right so um, come back to this base here as you can see this cable I was having some difficulty to get it disconnect because of this little plastic here okay so this plastic you cannot remove it seems like it's built into it together with the base so this is your DC jack connector it goes into here right so for those of you who wants to replace the DC jack let's say if you have something that is broken or stuck in there and you need to replace it and this is how you do that this is your power button in the in the USB port Alright, so you can just replace with one screw. I'll come back here with your speaker. This is your front, um, the top speaker, and then the speaker here is at the bottom for both both left and right. Uh, speaking about the keyboard, it looks like the keyboard is not a replaceable keyboard, meaning that the way they built it is entirely with the. Um, the laptop so the touchpad the keyboard and the base this is one piece all together so if you have a bad keyboard you need to replace the, the whole base of this all right so um, I think this is pretty much it I was able to remove everything and tear down hopefully this video helps you and show you some of the things that uh, you're looking to try to replace and if you have any question please comment below I uh, appreciate your time for watching this and I look forward to make another video for you in near future. Thank you and have a good day.